In this video, we're going to look at the locus of a point. And the number one question I get from students about this is, what on earth does locus mean? Locus comes from Latin, which means place. So locus means place. It's a bit like the word local. So someone who is local to an area is someone who often stays or comes from that place. Or you could think um, the location of something is its place or its point. An interesting one could be a locomotive. It's an old-fashioned word, but it's, come, it's like a car or something is a locomotive. And motive is move, and the loco is from locus, so it's moving from place to place. But either way, the word locus means a place. So the locus of a point is all the different places that that point could be. I think the best thing, though, is to give you an example of the type of questions you might be asked to do with locus, or loci is the plural. Let's write that, because that's also confusing. Loci is the plural, if there's more than one locus. So, for example, we might be asked something like, draw the locus of points which are two centimeters from point A. Basically that's like saying draw the set of all points, draw the path of the points, all of which are two centimeters from point A. So draw all the different places that the po a point could be where it's two centimeters from point A. To demonstrate, we're going to use a nifty bit of software from eMaths. So here's our point A. Let's just draw it and then right in the middle. There's our point A. And we have to draw the locus of all points which are two centimeters from point A. I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking, well, what we'd need to do is perhaps find two centimeters away from A, draw a point. Find another two centimeters away from A, draw another point. But that's going to take ages because there's loads of different points. What actually happens is that you end up with a circle. So what we need is a compass. And we need to measure two centimeters, stick the sharp bit of the compass at the center point where our point is, A, and then simply spin around. Now that is the locus of points. It's all the different places that the point could be where it's two centimeters away from A. So here's A, and that distance is two centimeters. Let's write it on. You could say the radius of the circle is two centimeters. So when you're getting the locus around a point, let's uh, do that a bit more accurately, the locus around a point is actually a circle. Let's write that. The locus around a point forms a circle. Because all the different places that you can be within which are two centimeters from A is going to be a, a, a line basically going around the point which is in other words a circle. How about if we were asked Draw the locus of points, locus of points, which are two centimeters from the line AB. So we're not drawing locus of points around a point. We're drawing the locus of points, which are two centimeters from a line. How's that going to work? Let's uh, erase this, and let's draw our imaginary line. Here it is. Let's use a pencil. Here's our imaginary line, and it has to be two centimeters away from this line. Well, we could roughly do it, and it's going to look something like, well, this is two centimeters away, this is two centimeters away, but then we go around the corner. So it's going to kind of be like a circle around this section, or a semicircle, I should say, then again back to being a straight line. 
That was very rough, but it gives an indication of what the locus is going to look like. Let's do it a bit more accurately. First, again, we measure two centimeters for the corner, and then place the sharp bit at the one of the points. Do a semicircle. There's a semicircle. You can do that for the other corner as well. Let's move that to the other corner and do another semicircle. Finally, we join up our semicircles like so and like so. And there we have the locus of all points from the line AB. If we label this point as being A, the first point, and the second point as being A, as B. Notice the locus always stays exactly two centimeters away from the line AB. So to sum up, locus just means the set of all points which obey a certain rule. Sometimes the rule is you have to be exactly two centimeters away from a point. Sometimes the rule is you have to be three or four centimeters away from a line. In our next video, we're going to look at where we have to be a certain distance within, so less than two centimeters or more than two centimeters. So lots of different loci all in one question. But for this video, we've learned that locus means place, and that's where you get the origin of all sorts of words and the solution to a whole load of maths problems.